My name is Chris Ancovella, and I am the director of the San Diego Classical Mandolin Camp. We are very excited about this year's upcoming gathering in San Diego, California. The San Diego Classical Mandolin Camp will explore the depth and breadth of the classical mandolin from Baroque to modern times through five days of intensive classes, ensemble rehearsals, and concerts. SDCMC strives to create a fun musical experience for mandolinists of all ages and abilities. Instructors will lead students through a journey of classical mandolin repertoire, history, technique, ornamentation, and ensemble playing. We are very pleased to have Venezuelan virtuoso Ricardo Sandoval as our guest instructor from Europe. After obtaining his degree in music from IUDEM in Caracas, he set off to Germany to continue his studies at the Musikhochschule in Wuppertal with Marga Wildenhusken and Gertrude Wehofen, graduating with the highest qualifications. Ricardo has won several international competitions, both in Germany and Italy. He is frequently invited to join and participate in festivals in Europe, Latin America, and Japan. Ricardo now resides in France, where he teaches and regularly gives concerts in classical and Latin American music. He also directs an amateur mandolin orchestra in Luxembourg. Ricardo's knowledge and skill on both the classical mandolin and traditional Venezuelan music makes him a perfect fit for the 2015 SDCMC. Ricardo will be teaching three classes and conducting one orchestral work with the SDCMC Ensemble. His first class is Technique and Musicality in Kalachi Concertos, an opportunity to touch this difficult original repertoire for the mandolin. The idea, of course, is not to play a whole concerto, but discover this monumental music and play some excerpts, approaching a world of exciting techniques that help define the virtuosic mandolin in the golden era. Uh, Ricardo's second class is MCV, Musica Criolla de Venezuela, learning about bandolina, or Venezuelan mandolin repertoire, a world of rhythm and colors in Venezuelan traditional music where mandolin is the most important melodic instrument. And Ricardo's third class is ornamentation as a first step to improvisation. Playing popular music from Brazil, Colombia, and Venezuela, we will try to give a personal touch to our playing through ornamentation. Ricardo will help us learn the foundation of this technique and analyze classical and popular repertoire, as well as recordings, to understand how to personalize our performance and get away from just playing the notes on the page. And Ricardo's orchestral selection is Entre las Sombras and Bombac two original compositions for Mandolin Orchestra by Ricardo Sandoval. Another great addition to this year's artistic staff is William Bradbury, DMA. William Bradbury is an Emmy Award winning composer who received his doctoral degree in music composition and theory from Cornell University. He is currently professor of music and music technology at California State University, San Marcos. His creative activities include compositions for orchestra, chamber ensembles, soloists, electronic media, and computer-based multimedia collaborations with other artists. He has written musical scores for several films, including Anza Borrego, Seasons in the Desert, for which he received an Emmy Award in 2001. Bill is also an accomplished mandolin player and currently performs with his duo, Mando Basso. SDCMC is to continually help students understand music structure and harmony, chord theory and counterpoint. Here at the SDCMC, we don't just want you to learn about technique, but also about musicianship and theory, all aspects coming together to help you become a better musician, not just a mandolinist. William Bradbury is the perfect instructor for the job. Bill will be teaching two classes. His first class is called Getting Square with the Circle. In this workshop, we will discuss the circle of fifths, as well as different chord structures and analyze their use in musical contexts. Examples will be drawn from Baroque and classical music, and from the music that the students will be performing during the week. 
Bill will present the standard movable chord shapes, including triads and seventh chords, and several important chord progressions that appear frequently in much music. He will also lead the class in playing through examples demonstrating the concepts discussed. Bill's second class is called Scaling the Heights. This workshop will focus on scales and analyze their use in a musical context. The four standard scales from most classical music will be reviewed as well as the modes that are used in early music. Students will play through scale shapes on the mandolin and analyze and play scale passages and pieces from the canon as well as those performed at the camp. This summer will be the fourth annual San Diego Classical Mandolin Camp and as always I am excited to create and share music with new and returning participants. For my classes, I've decided to focus on a mixture of technique, composers, and repertoire. This year, I will be teaching four classes. My first class is 18th century music of Giovanni Battista Gervasio. Leone was the ultimate technician, and Denis converted many violinists to the mandolin. However, it was Gervasio who wrote some of the loveliest mandolin music of the 18th century. A constant champion of our wonderful instrument, Giovanni wrote a fantastic method and repertoire that is frequently performed to this day. We will look at Gervasio's 1767 mandolin method and ensemble music from various collections, talking about ornamentation and right-hand techniques of the 18th century. My second class is called, For Every Phrase There is a Plectrum Stroke. Quite often I meet mandolinists who believe in the total use of a constant alternate stroke, no matter what. However, a mandolinist can use various plectrum strokes and technique to actually assist in shaping Baroque and 18th century phrasing. If we relax and let the plectrum do the work, the lyrical phrase comes to life for the audience. This class will look at excerpts from Bach, Telemann, Denis, Gervasio, as well as discuss how using various plectrum strokes and pick direction can help bring a musical phrase to life. My third class is called Exercises and Etudes on Double Stops. The technique of playing double stops can be a little daunting sometimes, especially when found in solo repertoire like Bach's Sonatas and Partitas or Telemann's Twelve Fantasies. Students often ask me to help them clean up their double stops. This class will discuss various methods for working on double stops and incorporating them into the music. We will look at etudes by Gervasio, Francia, Calace, Munier, and Allison Stevens. The class will learn how to play scales as double stops, learning proper fingering, building strength and flexibility in the left hand. We will also look at how Bach incorporated double stops into his solo sonatas. And last but not least, my fourth class is Fantasy No. 1 by Takashi Ochi. Fantasia No. 1 is a wonderful piece demonstrating a lot of the advanced techniques for the classical mandolin. I think of it as little pictures of what the classical mandolin is capable of. We will look at this delightful composition by Japanese mandolinist educator Takashi Ochi, working on glide stroke, harp arpeggio technique, duo style, and building speed into passages. This class is especially for advanced students, however, all are welcome to sit in. My orchestral selection is Canzoni by Jurian Hendrik Andriesen, arranged by Alex Timmerman of the Het Consort. There will be plenty to learn, but most importantly, we want everyone to enjoy their time with us in sunny San Diego, California. The SDCMC will once again be hosted at the centrally located and tropically inspired Crown Plaza Hotel. This year's camp will be from July 27th to August 2nd. It will be five full days of classes, rehearsals, concerts, and enjoying each other's company. At SDCMC, we have a friendly and supportive atmosphere, ideal for learning, creating, and sharing music together, as well as enjoying Taco Tuesdays. Each evening, there will be a featured artist concert with the final evening culminating with the SDCMC Orchestra performance. Once again, the fantastic early music ensemble Bach Collegium San Diego will be performing a special concert as part of the San Diego Classical Mandolin Camp.
please check out our website at www.sdclassicalmandolincamp.com. We hope to see you there.